you got, little boy? Whoa. Oh, yeah. Morning. Yeah, but it wasn't meant to rain. And I'm being hard-headed, so I'm gonna say, can I get a double piccolo? Actually, not double mac, double mac. That looks good. Thanks, bro. As you can see, just waiting for the rain to stop. We are fishing for whiting and flathead today on two main lures, which are the double clutch and the Daiwa slippery dog. So Daiwa double clutch, Daiwa slippery dog. Behind me are some sand flats in the local. I made it here before sunrise, but it, it was raining heavily and I'm just waiting for it to calm down. And once that happens, we're gonna hit hit the sand and um, try to try to catch some fish today on the top if not then on the bottom so yeah that's the plan let's get the rods and get walking towards the um towards the water catch you there all right so sun's peeking out there's overcast which is pretty awesome for top water and it has stopped raining so Good signs, very good signs. Actually, it is low tide, so yeah, we're just gonna have to see where the whiting are, where they're gonna take this uh, top water lure. It's not really much of a sand flat, it's basically a beach. Not so much just sand flats in a river system, if that makes sense. So we're fishing off a beach, not necessarily off a river with sand flats. There's a lot of holes here, so on low tide if you want to pump yabbies it's actually not a bad spot to pump some yabbies plenty of holes so we're gonna start here and then work our way left so so let's just cover the whole sort of beach here and see if we can locate some white and on top you know what it's different vibes when you're fishing off a beach it's not the same as um fishing the river systems i'll tell you that much might even get the feed in the water how about that no, I think we're definitely going to have to get the feet in the water, so make sure those rules don't touch the uh, the sand. All right. I think everyone's more reluctant to catch whiting on that 90 mil size or 100 mil. I've got the 80 mil, so let's just give it a go. We'll cast around here. I was meant to be using my in-feet rod, but um, I didn't bring it with me. I thought it was in my van. And it wasn't, so... <laughs> yeah. I'm using the itchy twitch. 610. It's still going to do the damage, so it's not, not too bad. I've seen a bit of um, bayfish jumping there, so... If that's not a good sign, I don't know what is. Definitely seen bayfish, though. So let's just work this real quick back towards us. Oh, yeah. A few more bayfish there, too, so... Whiting do like that fast moving top water lure. So we're not going to add too many pauses. We're just going to go all out and there's three whiting right there which are very small. So that's a good sign. Not big whiting but they chased it. So I'm right in the depths. I'm really right in the depths here. Could mean it could be a bit too deep, which could mean the whiting are probably more reluctant to be on the edge than out further because of the tide being low and the drop off being very close. So I'll probably cast cast sideways, eh? Let's cast sideways and see how he goes. See, I think the issue is I'm not too sure because. I don't really fish sand flats, but 
Because it's low tide, I'm literally at the point of the drop off, which means I don't have much shallows to work with, which means I'm, I'm directly thrown out in the depths. And that means I don't think I'm gonna get whiting out there when it's too deep. Whereas if it was high tide and this whole sand flat was covered and there was like, you know, a foot, foot of water, I think I would have had a much better chance getting whiting, so yeah. I really didn't want to do this, but I think we're going to have to, man. I think we're really going to have to put a plastic on because there's too much depth in that water. And that double clutch 90 mil, I think it's a 90 mil, is not even touching the floor. So what does that tell you? It tells you it's really deep out there. So let's put a 1.6 jig head on, on a size 1.0 hook and just whack on a two and a half inch minnow. So there we go. See if we can get a flatty or a brim. What have we got here? We have the AU color. Bit of scent on it. Man, look. I just didn't want to res resort back to plastics. I wanted, to th I wanted that to be a top water session, but um, I'll come back here on a high tide and try it. I think on a higher tide, it can definitely do the damage. And that means casting sideways, that means I'm gonna work the drop off, or at least close to, which could work too, but flatties are just known to hang on the drop offs. Oh yeah, there we go, there's a fish. You know what, that's a flatty. Those prop, those head shakes, eh? Those textbook head shakes. That's got to be a small flatty. Yeah, it is. There we go. We found one. Nice little flathead. Nice little flatty. Woo! Ta ta. Bye bye. Put some mess factor on that see if we can get some multiple hits i think we're definitely going to find some more fish i don't know about the uh quality but quantity quantity should pick up i think we're definitely going to find a few more fish just don't know about quality though seems very oh good fish there we go fish on small flatty again small flatty potential small flatty Pretty sure it is. Yeah, nice small flatty. Second small flatty. Okay, little guys, little guys, but little flathead. As I said, quantity but not quality. It just feels that. That would be the case today. Although, I'm not complaining, I'm catching fish, which is awesome. So, there we go, little guy. Whoa. Let's put him back in the drink. Okay, settle down. Brother, brother, I'm gonna get you in. Yeah, I'm just hoping these little guys have parents near them. So, go on, swim away. All right, so just put a new plastic on. The other one was a bit mangled from the flathead, but um, I mean, if you do want to target flathead, I wouldn't say put a two and a half inch on. If you really want to target flatties, I would say three to four inch paddle towels for sure. But um, I've caught my PB flatties on the smallest plastic, so my PB flatty on that critter actually. So um, if that tells you anything, the flathead is still going to hit those small lures, but if you really want to target the big flathead, the bigger the paddle towel, I reckon the bigger chance you're gonna get a proper flathead. It's left us. Oh, that's a good fish, man. That's a good take. It could be a whiting, because that strike was pretty decent, unless it's just a flathead. Uh, it's a flathead, it was just a really good take. 
okay there you go third fish for this morning all that same sort of size such a good take though you want to find yourself back in yeah i think so i think it's going to be all right bye bye okay i'm just going to move a bit i'm not getting bites there i'm just going to target this drop off again keep moving to the right there's a few fishing to my left so Let's see if we can find the flathead to the right of me. Oh, yeah, there's one. There's there's one. That's a proper flatty take, that one. Seems a bit better than the other three. I'm hoping so. Well, it could be similar in size. It's definitely a flathead, though. Typical head shakes. Typical head shakes. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's bigger. A bit bigger. Not too much bigger, but slightly bigger. There he is. It's a full flatty. Alright, it's come off. See you later. Bye bye. No? Yeah, you gotta hope that one big one comes along somewhere too, so you always gotta keep that in mind. Oh yeah, there you go. There's another flatty. Flatty number six. Not big. I just caught a flatty and another flatty just ran away from just over here near my legs so that's flatty number six all in that same size though right so <laughs> i mean i'm having fun i'm having fun but they're not big at all that's all right though it's okay yeah it's good fun man good fun nevertheless oh spikage a bit more sand flat sort of type area here it's a bit more sand flat Oh, there's a flatty. There's a flatty. He's bigger. Surely he's bigger. Still small, but bigger. That's flatty number seven. Flatty number seven on the on the count. Flatty number seven. They're getting him now. He's he's bigger. He's bigger. Yeah. Nice. Flatty number seven. Little guy. Go back. See you later. It's really starting to come down now, so that's going to be it, I reckon. All right, so I absolutely just got rained on. Uh, nice and short. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. So I did come out here with top water, as you seen in my intro, but I couldn't find any shallow water to actually work that top water lure on. So I switched to plastics, caught those nine flatties. Nothing big, but the quantity was there, which is um, still a good time. So. Let me know what you want me to try in the comments below. If you have any ideas, I'm more than happy to accept those um, ideas that you guys put forward and put them in my video. And make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and catch you next time. Peace out.